Let's look at how we can work out missing values in equations. Using multiplication or division, we can find the unknown values. So let's have a look at some ways we can do that. When we need to work out the total number of items, we use multiplication. You might see equations like this, and in each of these cases, we either don't know the total we're going to create, or we don't know the total we had before we shared them. So multiplication will help us there. When we know our total, but we need to know the number of groups or items, we use division. Have a look at these equations. In each case, we know the total, so we need to know either how many groups or how many items are in each group. And division helps us solve those. Let's work through an example now with multiplication. We planted carrots in rows of six. It's now time to dig them out. Three rows of carrots are being dug up today. So you'll be digging up three groups of six. Three multiplied by six equals 18. So multiplication helps us with that one. What about division? Well, when we need to share among groups or find out how many groups we can make, we use division. You have 24 carrot seeds to plant. How many rows will you plant so that each row yields six carrots? Well, 24 divided by six will give us our answer. You could count by six to see how many groups of six make 24. 6, 12, 18, 24. So four groups of six make 24. 24 divided by six equals four. Which method do we use this time? We have grown lots of carrots. We divide our carrots into packs of nine and have enough to make five packs. How many carrots do we have all together? Well, remember, we're looking for a total, so multiplication helps us here. Five multiplied by nine, or five groups of nine, gives us our total. Now, this is where you may know some great ways to work out your nine times tables. In this case, we're going to use a turnaround, and I'll show you one way I might use. Five multiplied by nine is the same as nine multiplied by five. Now, I know if we use our 10 times tables, 10 times five equals 50, but we only want nine times five, so we need to subtract one group of five. 50 minus five equals 45. So nine multiplied by five equals 45. We have 45 carats altogether. So we used multiplication, but we also used a technique to help us with our nine times tables. Using some tips and tricks can help you with your multiplication, so it's always good to think of those.